Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Insta360 Ace or Ace Pro firmware using a PC. Now I know you can do this in the app, but today we're going to be showing you how to do it manually with your computer. It's really quite simple to do, and this will give you the most recent features and updates so that your camera runs as intended. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So go ahead and turn on your Insta360 Ace or Ace Pro. And the first thing we need to check is that we have at least 20% battery life left. So it's ideal to do this with a fully charged battery. And if I swipe down here from the top and then swipe over and open up our settings here, we can see that the current version of my firmware is 1.0.27. So that's what we're gonna be updating today. Now go ahead on the side here, you're gonna see a small little door. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and you're gonna see the USB-C connection in there. You can grab your USB-C cable, make sure the other end is plugged into your computer, and we'll go ahead and plug that right into our camera like that. Make sure that your camera is on. And when we flip this over here, we're gonna see a few different modes, and we wanna make sure we select this one here, the U-Disc mode. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that like that, and it says U-Disc mode on the screen. So jumping over to my computer here, we're gonna head on over to the insta360.com website. And at the top, you should see downloads. You can go ahead and select that and you're gonna find your camera. So if you've got the Insta360 Ace, you're gonna select software under that camera. Or if you've got the Ace Pro, you're gonna select software under that camera. Make sure you are selecting it for the correct camera. I've got the Ace Pro, so I'll select this one. Once you've got that loaded up, we're gonna scroll down and we should see the Insta360 Ace Pro firmware here. I'll link this below in the description so you can easily find it. And right here, it's gonna show the firmware and over on the right hand side, you can go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap download and it's gonna start downloading to my computer. I'll go ahead and let that finish and then we'll come back to you. All right, so the download completed there, it's 171 megabytes in size, so it's fairly large. We'll go ahead and minimize the web page here. We need to open up our file explorer. So I've got a shortcut here on the bottom I could select, or I can go over to my start menu and we're gonna right click on it, not left click, but right click, and you'll get a little menu and file explorer should be right there. And this is where you can look at all the files on your computer. Now we need to find that file we downloaded. Mine went to my download section here. More than likely that's where yours went as well, unless you've changed that on your computer. And there's the file right there. Insta360 Ace Pro FW.bin. Now we need to copy this over to our Insta360 Ace Pro. So there's a couple of different ways you could do that. You could of course drag and drop it, or we can just right click on it. And there's a copy function here. You could also do the shortcut Control C. So I'm gonna just go ahead and copy that. And then we need to find the Insta360 on our computer as well. So down here at the bottom, you've got this PC. You can expand that and we've got USB drive D, that's actually our Insta360 on this. So we need to make sure we put it in the root directory, not under the DCIM folder. So make sure you select the USB drive D here. And again, make sure that is your Insta360, you probably have a folder like that in here. And then we need to paste that file into this section, or again, we could drag and drop it in here. So I'm gonna find an open area here, we'll right click with our mouse, and we could click the little paste icon here or do control V. So I'll go ahead and select that and it's gonna start copying that over. Let's have a look here at our Insta360. So that's copied over to our root directory and I'm gonna switch back to the full view here. We're gonna go ahead and unplug our cable and it says checking firmware, updating firmware, it's going through. Please keep the camera on during this process. Update successful. Camera will auto restart to complete the firmware setup. It's restarting there. The blue light is flashing. And it completed. Let's go ahead and swipe down from the top and then over to our settings here. And now we can see we are on version 1.0.41. And really it's that easy to update the firmware on your Insta360 Ace or Ace Pro using your PC.